Hey everyone, it's Natasha, and today I want to bring you a video on um, an interesting topic, or question I, sh I guess I should say, which is a question that likely goes through everyone's mind, specifically witches, pagans, wiccans, anyone that follows a spiritual path that believes in a god, a goddess, or multiple gods, multiple goddesses. And that question is, are the gods and goddesses real? I know that this is a question that I considered, and then I kind of reflected on it, and I immediately knew the answer. For me, it's different for everyone, and what you believe is what you should continue to believe. Just because someone tells you differently does not mean you have to believe them. So it's definitely something that has to be your truth and true to you, just like what I believe has to feel right for me. If it feels wrong, I'm not going to believe it. I'm going to continue searching for an answer that I believe, okay? So, before you go anywhere, let me um, read you, I think it's like three paragraphs from a book, and it is a Silver Raven Wolf book. Don't hate me. Um, whether you like her or hate her, love or hate, she can bring up some good points in her books. Um, I don't always agree with what she says, I don't always like what she says, but she does bring up good points. Um, in some of her, some of her articles, chapters, whatever, in books. So right now I want to, oh look, there's my little wolf pup. See, see him over there? He's so cute, isn't he? Okay, so right now I'm going to read from the book. It is, I guess it depends if you have an old edition or a new edition of the book. I'm not even going to say what page it's on, but it's in chapter something, Defining the All. Let me see. Uh, chapter six, Defining the All. Okay. Okay, so it says, are the gods and goddesses real? This is not an easy question to answer, and in the end, each person will have to decide for themselves the reality of their images. Philosophically, everyone's perception of reality is an illusion. In the craft, it is taught that thought is form. All form is energy. Therefore, any deity is as real as you think it is. Let's face it, everyone knows that you can think yourself sick, and it will manifest into physical illness if you let it. So, if you can think a negative thing into physical reality, why can't you think of a positive reality too? Like a deity, for instance. Okay, so, basically, what she is saying, which is something I deeply believe, is that each individual must decide if the gods and goddesses are real, if they are symbolic, whatever you may believe them to be, um, it's something that you need to decide for yourself. There are some people that believe that all the deities are separate. There are some people that believe that all deities are facets to the god and goddess. There are people that don't exactly believe in a separate god and goddess, but instead in just the deities themselves, the uh, other um, gods and goddesses. Like, for example, they may believe that there isn't just one goddess, goddess but there are just all the other goddesses. Just like, this is hard to how hard to explain, not believe. That's weird. Such as, you know, Caridwen, Aphrodite. They believe each one of those are separate. Um, you could believe that they are just symbolic and that perhaps it, they're just a symbol. You could believe that they're just simply myths and stories, legends, and that it's just the god and goddess in you know, writing and legend format. It's up to you. There are so many ways this can go. And I, I don't even know if I could even list them all or think of them all right now. So it's completely up to you. Now, if you are following a specific tradition, or you're in a coven, I would recommend asking the high priest or high priestess or reading more or learning more about the tradition that you're practicing to see what they believe. Because there could be specific beliefs that they have. For example, they could believe that um, perhaps the pantheon that they are using is the only set of deities that you should worship. It's, it can get really confusing, let's just say that, okay? So 
right now I want to advise you to take it upon yourself to reflect and figure out what you believe, what feels right to you. Okay, and as Silver Raven Wolf even said, that, you know, all thought is, I think she said all thoughts form and all form is energy or something like that. So if you believe enough in a deity, it will physically manifest and it will physically be there. Like she said, you can think yourself sick. I do it all the time. It's horrible. If I think I'm coming down with the flu, I will begin getting the symptoms. Sure, maybe I really am, but chances are it's just all in my head. Who knows? Everything would be all in my head. I'm crazy. It's okay. But what I'm saying is take time, as much time as you need, as little time as you need, and figure out what you believe, what feels right. If you were to say, I am worshiping a deity that exists, does it feel right? If you ask yourself, I am worshiping a deity that does not exist, does that feel right? Figure out what feels right for you, okay? Like I said, if you're in a coven or practice a specific tradition, figure out if they have specific beliefs in regards to that. Don't be afraid to ask, because the more you know about your path, then the better it's going to be for you. The more... I really want to use the word productive, but for some reason it's the only word that comes to mind. Um, the more... Okay, books can just fall over, apparently. I don't know. I can't think of the word, guys. I'm sorry. There's a word that's completely missing from my vocabulary right now. It's horrible. I feel stupid. Anyway, um, I guess the more real it will feel. Let's use that. The more you believe in something, and the more right it feels, the more you know about it, the more real it can be. Okay? We're going to go with that. We're going to pretend like that's what I was meaning to say. I really have no idea what I was what I was getting at with that. Okay, so that's your homework. If you don't already know what you believe, figure out what you believe. Okay, especially if you are just starting out, this is something very important for you to figure out before you start doing rituals and you're using gods and goddesses that you don't even know who they are. You don't know if they're real. Figure it out right now. Okay, not only will it make your rituals and spells more powerful and effective but you won't feel like you're just doing random things and saying random words. Remember that for something to work, you have to have meaning behind it. Simply saying and chanting a couple words, lighting a candle, not knowing what you're saying or doing, likely won't work. Okay, but if you are knowing this is why I'm lighting this candle, this is why I'm saying these words, I know who this god is, I know who this goddess is, you're good. Okay, if you have the feeling and the energy in it, the belief in it, it's going to make it so much easier for you. It's going to completely blow your mind when things actually begin to work, okay? I feel like there's something else I want to say. I don't know. I'm looking at my, looking at my angel statue. Isn't she gorgeous? She is simply gorgeous. I don't know. I feel like there's something I'm going to say. Maybe I'll add it on to the end of this video if I can think of it, guys. Until next time, though. <laughs>